I backpacked and camped with a Marmot Helium 15 degree sleeping bag from about 2005 to 2016. For reference, this is roughly 581 nights I spent outside. This was when I through hiked the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, and all kinds of other fun adventures. Unfortunately, I can't show you that particular bag because it got into a really ugly argument with my wife's dog one night a few years back, and it's no longer. So now you know that I prefer a 15 degree sleeping bag. But what are you going to prefer for a sleeping bag, and what does 15 degree sleeping bag even mean? Let's come up with a scenario. Say you're going out to the Smokies on the Appalachian Trail for a weekend. And so you wanna figure out what the temperature is gonna be. So you check online and you're probably gonna come up with Gatlinburg and Fontana Dam temperatures. Let's say they tell you the low temp is gonna be 30 degrees. So you grab your 30 degree sleeping bag, go out for a nice hike. End up freezing your butt off all weekend long. Why? Well, the reason why is actually one of my favorite aspects of backpacking. Every night is different. There are so many variables. Like, are you wearing your birthday suit? Or are you wearing really warm thermal layers? Do you have a really warm sleeping pad? Or do you have a very thin sleeping pad? Is it windy outside? Are you on the top of the mountain? Are you on the bottom of the mountain? Are you beside a stream where all the cold wind is gonna come blow down? It's a lot of variables. This is called your entire sleep system. Today, we're just gonna focus on the sleeping bag and the sleeping bag temperature. So long story short, even though the weather in Gatlinburg down in the valley might be a low of 30 degrees, you might be on the windy side of the ridge up at the top of the Smokies with snow coming on and it's easily 20 degrees colder than what you thought it was gonna be. Hence, you're freezing your butt off. So in order to figure out the best temperature sleeping bag for you, we need to compare and contrast some like sleeping bags to figure out what the differences are and what these ratings mean. Your goal, of course, is to stay warm enough, but not overheat. Also, secondary goals for most of us are gonna be cost, weight of the sleeping bag, and how compressible it is. So my suggestion, start with a high quality down sleeping bag from a high quality, reputable source. Today, we have a whole bunch of Marmot sleeping bags that we're gonna discuss. We have the Marmot Hydrogen 30 degree bag, the Marmot Helium 15 degree bag, the Marmot lithium zero degree bag, and I brought my own personal Marmot call membrane negative 20 degree bag that also has a waterproof breathable membrane. So slightly different, but still down feathers, pretty much on the same level. All four of these bags are your classic lightweight, mummy shaped, down filled sleeping bags. They're not the lightest bags you can find on the market, but they're super high quality and they're pretty darn light. These three bags are ISO tested. ISO is basically a standardized way that you can test the temperature ratings of a sleeping bag so you can compare and contrast, which is what we wanna do. The idea is you have an independent third party testing the bags and they're gonna be tested under what's considered normal conditions. Normal conditions are a standard person inside a tent on a sleeping pad wearing a thermal layer. This standardized test basically breaks it down into four different comfort levels. The highest or upper limit is where a male will be uncomfortably hot in the sleeping bag. You're not gonna see this on too many sleeping bags because most people aren't most worried about being hot, they're worried about being cold. So the next three levels are what we're really gonna focus on. The next level is comfort level, which is where a standard woman will feel comfortable. The next one from here is the limit or lower limit, and this is generally considered where a male will feel comfortable down to a certain temperature. The fourth one we're talking about now is extreme. And these are the absolute lowest temperatures that a standard woman would survive for up to six hours in the conditions of the test. So how do we quickly transfer all these studies and tests into information that's useful for me and for you? This is what Marmot did. They put it on the bag here, ISO tested. Comfort level, which is generally the women's lower level, 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Limit, generally the men's lower level, negative two degrees Fahrenheit. Extreme, which is where if you're in colder than this, you're probably gonna die, negative 42 degrees Fahrenheit. So they're calling this lithium bag a zero degree bag, which kind of makes sense. It's between 12 degrees Fahrenheit and negative two degrees Fahrenheit. Fair enough, cool. Marmot's calling the helium a 15 degree bag. So very similar terms, the women's is about 27 degrees. The men's lower limit is around 16 degrees. 
So they're calling this 15 degrees. Basically, if you're in cold conditions, frost maybe, this should be fine for you. The numbers for the hydrogen 30 degree bag was 37 and 27 with an extreme of negative three. So this is more of your summer, maybe early fall or late spring kind of bag, right when like if it start to be freezing temperatures, you're gonna start to get cold into this. So hopefully this is helpful for you to compare and contrast different sleeping bags from the same company, where again, since it's a third party ISO tested, different sleeping bags from different companies. But here's the thing, none of us are normal. I have a friend who sleeps in a 30 degree sleeping bag year round. My wife sleeps in my negative 20 degree waterproof sleeping bag nearly year round as well. We're all different. As stated, I like 15 degree bags. So what's the perfect temperature sleeping bag for you? So here's my suggestion. Choose a bag that's 10 to 15 degrees colder than the coldest temperature when you usually go out camping. This gives you a little bit of wiggle room in case if it's colder than normal. Also, if you're warm, you can always unzip the bag. If you always go out in the summer and you don't wanna go out in colder temperatures, get a 30 degree bag. Then if it's 40 or 50 degrees outside, you can unzip the bag. But also, if you have a friend who calls you up and says, let's go out for a fall hike, you can wear some extra layers and take your same sleeping bag. Do you hate camping in the summer because you don't wanna deal with the bugs and the snakes and all that kind of stuff? You strictly go out in the spring and fall. Go for a 15 degree bag. Again, that way, say a friend calls you up and says, let's try a winter camping trip. Maybe you're open to that. You have a 15 degree bag. All you have to do is have warm layers underneath. You don't have to buy a brand new sleeping bag. If you only like camping in below freezing temperatures, but you're not doing any crazy stuff like mountaineering above tree line in really, really harsh conditions, go for a zero degree bag. That way you can generally be warm enough, but you're not overdoing it and carrying an extra couple pounds of weight that you really don't need to utilize. So hopefully now you know which temperature rating is perfect for you and the sleeping bag that you need. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you wanna look at these bags in particular, hop over to inwild.com. And if you really wanna to talk to somebody, send us an email, give us a phone call, we're always here to help you out.